Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Anything else you want to say to your fans, man? All right, man, shout out to Dante's Boxing Nation. You know, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, Earl Spence Jr., my whole name, and just look out for me. Yes, sir. Let me dig into your brain, folks falling like rain. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So ever since Lomachenko's dominant performance over Mariaga, the entire boxing world, including other professional boxers, trainers, and of course, Guillermo Rigo himself, they have all been putting pressure on Lomachenko to take the Rigo fight next. And now, according to Bob Arum, that could possibly be Lomachenko's very next fight in December on free TV, ESPN. Oh, Bobby said that if Lomachenko faces Rigo, their fight would take place in the theater at Madison Square Garden. But the second option for Lomachenko is a fight with Orlando Salido, and Bob Arum said if he faces him, that fight will be somewhere in Los Angeles. So, you know, when it comes to Lomachenko, he said a lot of conflicting things when it comes to him possibly facing Rigo. I mean, there was times when he said that I don't need him. Rigo is calling me out. I'm not calling him out. Then recently he just said, I'll get no credit if I beat Rigo. They'll say he was smaller, et cetera, et cetera. But we all know that Lomachenko, he would get way more credit beating a pound for pound champion, a top three, top five pound for pound champion than beating a Mariaga or a Rocky Martinez. That's just common sense. So I don't really know if this fight is really going to come to fruition by December or if it will ever come to fruition. I mean, we know that they've been trying to make the Salido fight for quite some time, and that hasn't been all of uh, Lomachenko's fault. But when it comes to the Rigo fight, I will say this. I can't recall the last time I've seen that much talent in the ring at the same time. I mean, we've seen extremely significant fights where two pound-for-pound pound fighters were in the ring at the same time, like Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalev. But even in that fight, only Andre Ward had the Rigo Loma type of skills. Kovalev was a very skillful pound-for-pound pound fighter, but he wasn't as naturally gifted and talented as a Ward, a Loma, Rigo, Mayweather. And that's why this fight is so special, and it has to happen. So, hopefully... We get to see this fight. You have two gold medalists, two Southpaws, two of pound for pound top five best fighters in the world going head to head. If it truly goes down. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.